time to finally bring the uh, Ken Mary to the channel. I know we're still working on the blue car here and there. Got a few little things to do to it while we wait on wheels, but uh, I'm itching to drive this thing. It's been sitting all winter. It's dirty. It's covered in dust. Hasn't started uh, since kind of middle of winter when I did a little bit of a car shuffle. Um, we got, as I stated before, lots of stuff to do this. We got to do a clutch job on it. We got to switch out the triple carbs for the Solex triple carbs. Um, we got a few other little odds and ends that needs an alignment. Um, so yeah, uh, today what we're just pretty much going to do is we're going to fire it up, we're going to pull it out, we're going to take it and give it a bath, and, uh, and bring it back, and then we can start getting ready to uh, prep it up for, for those things. So we're just going to do a little introduction video on it today, kind of going through it with you guys, and uh, showing you what it is, what it needs, and uh, a bit of backstory on it. So. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see if it starts. I threw the charger on it a little while ago. Hopefully it's got enough juice in it to, uh, to fire her over, so. So my apologies, but this is her. So this is uh, 1976, and obviously it's kind of been trimmed out to look like a GTR. It is not a GTR. With uh, obviously we got the GTR flares, we got our re reproduction GTR flares, reproduction GTR uh, quarter emblem. Um, we got actually a real GTR steering wheel in here. Um, real GTR fender mirrors, and uh, we got a reproduction GTR grill. Uh, so you can take a look there. Got to have the old classic uh, Jaff emblem, obviously. And then we got the GT Kai, just GT modified, essentially, is what that means. Let's see if the camera will uh, kind of shade it on this side, but. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an introduction to this car. We got the reproduction GTR trim ring. 
uh, for the tail lights as well. Um, yeah, just give you guys a bit of a rundown on this car and kind of let you know what's up with it. Um, I've had this car I think since 2019, fall of 2019, and uh, yeah, did all the wheels and suspension and everything when it got here, and uh, now we got a few things to do to it. Like uh, we got to do a clutch on it. We got uh, OS Gike and twin plate that's gonna go in it. And then we also have uh, um, new carbs to go on this car. So currently this car has a F54 block P90 head L28 with a five speed behind it. Um, it it would have came with an L24, I believe with like a four speed, uh, maybe a five speed, but depending. Um, so yeah, obviously the motor is a little bit different and everything, and it's currently on triple uh, forties Weber's. So I'm gonna pop the hood for you here and uh, show you it. All right, so excuse how dirty it is underneath here; it's uh, filthy. Just pulled it out, obviously with it being spring. But currently we got the 40 mil Weber triples on here. We're gonna go to a set of uh, triple Solex 44s, um, and yeah, pretty stoked for that. So those are going to be the first two main jobs that we do to the car, the carbs and the uh, clutch job. And then after that, just little things. The previous owner had painted this like lower air dam or not the air dam, but the portion just above it in like an ugly bed liner. So we're going to get that cleaned up. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I have a few different ideas for kind of where I want to take this car vision wise. Um, I'm not fully 100% decided yet though, so I don't really want to reveal anything, but yeah, more or less just wanted to give you guys the rundown on it, let you take a look. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, since I know people are going to ask, the uh, the fronts, their work equipped 40s in Sprint Gold, um, 15 by 9 minus 17 up front, I forget the disc, I think A disc. And then in the rear I'm running uh, essentially a 15 by 10. Uh, minus 31, I believe this would be the O disc. So we got 225, 50, 15 um, Advan 8006s. Uh, I really like these tires. They got super cool tread pattern to them. Um, you just don't see that on a lot of tires here. And then in the front, uh, we're running, uh, I don't even remember the size on this. This is a 205, 50, uh, 15, and uh, this is on a nine. And uh, these are the uh, 8008s, I believe. Yeah, 8008s. So, yeah, big fan of the Advans. These tires got, honestly, like the biggest reason I like them is probably the sidewall. They just, uh, especially the rears, they got a super cool sidewall, nice and smooth, that kind of that classic look to them. So, um, yeah, guys, let me know. Let me know what you think of this thing. I'm not gonna go too far into the interior today because it's super dirty in here. Uh, but just wanted to give you guys a rundown on this particular car and let you know that we're going to start working on it. I see a little bit of a low front tire there. So I have to get that top, uh, topped up. Yeah, just lots of raw fiberglass on this that I want to get painted. Like the lip is still raw. The grill is still raw. The flares are still raw. The mirrors need to repaint. Um, although the car is in really, really good shape for what it is, it's also not. So there's lots of just little things that it needs. It also needs all the bright work polished and, um, you know, just lots of little stuff. It needs an exhaust really bad. Um, this one's kind of horrendous sounding. So sounds like a commuter car. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions about this car, let me know if you have opinions for what you think we should do with it. I mean, the only thing I could say is for sure the wheels and tires aren't changing because I just put those on last year. I love them. Um, but I'm thinking maybe, uh, maybe livery. So yeah, something uh, something a little bit different just to change it up. Uh, I rocked this car as it as it is right now last year, and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think.